Indian Railways IR is India's national railway system operated by the Ministry of Railways. It manages the fourth largest railway network in the world by size with 121,407 kilometers, 75,439 miles of total track over a 67,368 kilometer, 41,861 miles route. 49% of the routes are electrified with 25 kV AC electric traction while 33% of them are double or multi-tracked. IR runs more than 20,000 passenger trains daily, on both long-distance and suburban routes, from 7,349 stations across India. The trains have a five-digit numbering system. Mail or express trains, the most common types, run at an average speed of 50.6 km per hour 31.4 miles per hour. In the freight segment, IR runs more than 9,200 trains daily. The average speed of freight trains is around 24 km per hour 15 miles per hour. As of March 2017, IR's rolling stock consisted of 277,987 freight wagons, 70,937 passenger coaches and 11,452 locomotives. IR owns locomotive and coach production facilities at several locations in India. The world's eighth largest employer, it had 1.308 million employees as of March 2017. In the year ending March 2018, IR carried 8.26 billion passengers and transported 1.16 billion tons of freight. In the fiscal year 2017 18, IR is projected to have revenue of 1.874 trillion rupees, $26 billion, consisting of 1.175 trillion rupees $16 billion in freight revenue and 501.25 billion rupees $7 billion in passenger revenue, with an operating ratio of 96.0%. Topic. History The first railway proposals for India were made in Madras in 1832. The country's first train, Red Hill Railway, built by Arthur Cotton to transport granite for road building, ran from Red Hills to the Chintadrapet Bridge in Madras in 1837. In 1845, the Godavari Dam construction railway was built by Cotton at Dowlswaram in Rajamundri, to supply stone for the construction of a dam over the Godavari River. In 1851, the Solana Aqueduct Railway was built by Proby Cotley in Roorkee to transport construction materials for an aqueduct over the Solana River. India's first passenger train, hauled by three steam locomotives, Sahib, Sindh and Sultan, ran for 34 kilometers, 21 miles, with 400 people in 14 carriages on 1676 millimeters, 5 feet 6 in broad gauge track between Bori Bunder, Mumbai and Thane on the 16th of April 1853. The Dapuri Viaduct, India's first railway bridge, was built over the Ulhas River when the Mumbai Thane line was extended to Kalyan in May 1854. Eastern India's first passenger train ran 24 miles 39 km from Howrah, near Kolkata, to Hooghly on 15 August 1854. The first passenger train in South India ran 60 miles 97 km from Royapuram Vayasarapati Madras to Walaja Road on 1 July 1856. On 24 February 1873, a horse-drawn 3.8 km miles tram opened in Calcutta between Silda and Armenian Ghat Street. On 9 May 1874, a horse-drawn tramway began operation in Bombay between Kalaba and Peril. In 1897, lighting in passenger coaches was introduced by many railway companies. On 3 February 1925, the first electric passenger train in India ran between Victoria Terminus and Kurla. The organisation of Indian railways into regional zones began in 1951, when the Southern April 1951, Central November 1951, and Western November 1951 zones were created. Fans and lights were mandated for all compartments in all passenger classes in 1951, and sleeping accommodations were introduced in coaches. In 1956, the first fully air-conditioned train was introduced between Howrah and Delhi. Ten years later, the first containerized freight service began between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. In 1986, computerized ticketing and reservations were introduced in New Delhi. In 1988, the first Shatabdi Express was introduced between New Delhi and Jhansi, it was later extended to Bhopal. 
Two years later, the first self-printing ticket machine SPTM was introduced in New Delhi. In 1993, air-conditioned three-tier coaches and a sleeper class, separate from second class were introduced on IR. The concert system of computerized reservations was deployed in New Delhi, Mumbai and Chennai in September 1996. In 1998, coupon-validating machines CVMs were introduced at Mumbai Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus. The nationwide concierge system began operation on 18 April 1999. In February 2000, the Indian Railways website went online. On 3 August 2002, IR began online train reservations and ticketing. Indian Railways announced on 31 March 2017 that the country's entire rail network would be electrified by 2022. Organization Structure Indian Railways is headed by a seven-member railway board whose chairman reports to the Ministry of Railways. IR is divided into 17 zones, headed by general managers who report to the railway board. The zones are further subdivided into 68 operating divisions, headed by Divisional Railway Managers the divisional officers of the engineering, mechanical, electrical, signal and telecommunication, stores, accounts, personnel, operating, commercial, security and safety branches report to their respective DRMs and are tasked with the operation and maintenance of assets. Station masters control individual stations and train movements through their station's territory. In addition, there are a number of production units, training establishments, public sector enterprises and other offices working under the control of the Railway Board. Subsidiaries and undertakings IR is a major shareholder in 16 public sector undertakings PSU, and other organizations that are related to rail transport in India. Notable among this list include, Financing, Construction and Project Implementation, IRFC, Rights, IRCON, MRVC, RVNL, Land and Station Development, RLDA, IRSDC, Rail Infrastructure, DFCCIL, Pearl Passenger and Freight Train Operations, KRCL, Concor, IT and Communications, CRIS, RCIL, Catering and Tourism, IRCTC. Topic Human resources staff are classified into gazetted groups A and B and non-gazetted groups C and D employees. Gazetted employees carry out executive, managerial, supervisorial level tasks. As of March 2017, the number of personnel groups A and B constitutes 1.2% of the total strength, while groups C and D account for 92.6% and 6.2% respectively. Recruitment of group A employees is carried out by the Union Public Service Commission by examination. Group B employees are recruited by way of promotion among the group C employees, by way of both seniority cum eligibility through a selection process. Recruitment of Group C section and junior engineers and depot material superintendents is conducted by the Railway Recruitment Board. Group C and D employees are recruited by 21 Railway Recruitment Boards and Cells, which are controlled by the Railway Recruitment Control Board IR recruits for Group C posts through its RRB NTPCGP Railway Recruitment Board Non-Technical Graduate Post examination. The training of all groups is shared among seven centralized zonal training institutes and 295 training centers located all over India. IR offers housing and runs its own hospitals, schools and sports facilities for the welfare of its staff. Rolling stock Topic Locomotives India uses electric and diesel locomotives along with a few CNG compressed natural gas locomotives Steam locomotives are no longer in use except in heritage trains Locomotives in India are classified by gauge, mode of power, the work they are suited for and their power or model number. Their four or five letter class name includes this information. 
The first letter denotes the track gauge, the second their motive power diesel or electric, and the third their suitable traffic goods, passenger, multi or shunting. The fourth letter denotes a locomotive's chronological model number. In 2002, a new classification was adopted in which the fourth letter indicates a newer diesel locomotive's horsepower range. A locomotive may have a fifth letter in its name, denoting a technical variant, subclass or subtype a variation in the basic model or series or a different motor or manufacturer. In the new diesel locomotive classification, the fifth letter refines the horsepower in 100 HP increments, A for 100 horsepower, B for 200 horsepower, C for 300 horsepower and so on. In this classification, a WDM3A is a 3,100 horsepower, a WDM3D a 3,400 horsepower, and a WDM3F a 3,600 horsepower locomotive. Diesel locomotives are fitted with auxiliary power units, which save almost 88% of fuel during idle time when a train is not running. Topic: <laughs> Goods wagons. As of March 2017, IR fleet consisted of 277,987 goods wagons. They carried 1,110 million tons of freight in fiscal year 2016-17. Wagon types used by IR include BCACBM, BCCN, BCNA, BCNHL, BOBRN, BOBYN, BOXN, BOXNHL, BOXNHS, BOXNHL, BOXNCR, BOXNLW, BOXNL, BOXNL, BRH, BTPGLN, BTPN and VVN. IR's bulk requirement of wagons is met by wagon manufacturing units both in public and private sectors as well as other public sector units under the administrative control of Ministry of Railways. Topic: Passenger coaches. On long distance routes and also on some shorter routes, IR uses two primary types of coach design types. ICF coaches, in production from 1955 until January 2018, constitute the bulk of the current stock. These coaches, considered to be having inadequate safety features, are slowly being phased out. As of September 2017, around 40,000 coaches are still in operation. The older coaches are being replaced with LHB coaches. Introduced in mid-90s, these coaches are lighter, safer and are capable of speeds up to 160 km per hour 99 miles per hour. IR has announced that two new self-propelled train set designs will be introduced starting from mid-2018. These two train types, termed as Train 18 and Train 20, are expected to replace locomotive hauled trains on long distance routes. On regional short distance routes, IR runs Mainline Electrical Multiple Unit or Diesel Electrical Multiple Unit trains, depending on the traction available. These train sets are self propelled with capability for faster acceleration or deceleration and are expected to reduce congestion on dense routes. Passenger locomotive hauled trains, having frequent stops are slowly being replaced with train sets across India, on suburban commuter routes around the large urban centres, IR runs trains with electric multiple unit coaches. As of March 2017, about 9,100 coaches are in operation. Topic manufacturing Indian Railways is a vertically integrated organization that produces majority of its rolling stock at in-house production units, with a few recent exceptions. The Chittaranjan Locomotive Works in Chittaranjan manufactures electric locomotives, and the Diesel Locomotive Works in Varanasi makes diesel and electric locomotives. The Diesel Loco Modernization Works in Patiala upgrades the WDM2 locomotive from 2,600 to 3,100 horsepower. Some electric locomotives have been supplied by Bharat Heavy Electricals, and locomotive components are manufactured in other plants around the country. Coaches are produced at Integral Coach Factory, Rail Coach Factory, and Modern Coach Factory located in different parts of the country. The Rail Wheel Factory at Yalahanka, Bangalore, and the Rail Wheel Plant, Bella in Chopra, Bihar manufactures wheels and axles. 
The repair and maintenance of this vast fleet of rolling stock is carried out at 44 loco sheds, 212 carriage and wagon repair units and 45 periodic overhaul workshops located across various zones of IR. In November 2015, IR awarded US$2.6 billion locomotive supply and maintenance contract to General Electric. The contract stipulates that GE will import 40 locomotives and will produce another 960 over a period of 11 years in a new diesel locomotive factory at Marhaura in Bihar. On the same day, another US$3 billion contract has been awarded to Alstom SA to manufacture 800 high-power electric locomotives 12,000 HP over 11 years in a new electric locomotive factory at Madhepura. Network Tracks As of March 2017, IR network spans 121,407 kilometers, 75,439 miles of track length, while the route length is 67,368 kilometers, 41,861 miles. Track sections are rated for speeds ranging from 80 to 200 km per hour 50 to 124 miles per hour, though the maximum speed attained by passenger trains is 180 km per hour 110 miles per hour. As of March 2017, most of the broad gauge network is equipped with long welded rails, pre-stressed concrete PSC sleepers and high tensile strength 52 kg, 60 kg 90 UTS rails, 1,676 mm 5 feet 6 in broad gauge, is the predominant gauge used by IR and spans 61,680 km 38,330 miles of route 92% of total route network. It is the broadest gauge in use across the world for passenger movement. Broad gauge generated 100% of the freight output net ton kilometers and more than 99% of the passenger output passenger kilometers in the fiscal year 2016-17. The 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 in meter gauge tracks, 762 mm 2 feet 6 in and 610 mm 2 feet narrow gauge tracks are present on fewer routes. All of these routes, except the heritage routes, are being converted to broad gauge. The meter gauge tracks were 3,479 kilometers, 2,162 miles, 5% of total route network, and narrow gauges tracks were 2,208 kilometers, 1,372 miles, 3% of total route network, as of the 31st of March 2017. Topic. Electrification As of 31 March 2018, IR has electrified 49% or 33,057 km 20,541 miles of the route kilometers and 46% or 55,240 km 34,320 miles of the total running track. India uses 25 kV AC traction on all its electrified tracks. Railway electrification in India began with the first electric train, between Bombay Victoria Terminus and Kurla on the Harbour Line, on 3 February 1925 on the Great Indian Peninsula Railway at 1,500 volts DC. Heavy gradients in the Western Ghats necessitated the introduction of electric traction on the GIPR to Igatpuri on the North East Line and Pune on the South East Line. On 5 January 1928 1,500 volts DC traction was introduced on the suburban section of the Bombay, Baroda and Central India Railway between Kalaba and Borivili, and between Madras Beach and Tambaram of the Madras and Southern Maratha Railway on of May 1931, to meet growing traffic needs. The 3,000 volts DC electrification of the Howrah Burdwan section of the Eastern Railway was completed in 1958. The first 3000 volts DC EMU service began on the Howrah Shiorafuli section on the 14th of December 1957. Research and trials in Europe, particularly on French railways SNCF, indicated that 25 kV AC was an economical electrification system. Indian Railways decided in 1957 to adopt 25 kV AC as its standard with SNCF their consultant in the early stages. 
The first 25 kV AC section was Raj Karswandongopasi on the South Eastern Railway in 1960. The first 25 kV AC emus, for Kolkata suburban service, began service in September 1962. For continuity, the Howrah Burdwan section of the Eastern Railway and the Madras Beach Tambaram section of the Southern Railway were converted to 25 kV AC by 1968. Because of limitations in the DC traction system, a decision was made to convert to 25 kV AC in 1996-97. The conversion from DC to AC traction was completed in 2012 by the Western Railway, and in 2016 by the Central Railway. Since then, the entire electrified mainline rail network in India uses 25 kV AC, and DC traction is used only for metros and trams. Indian Railways announced on 31 March 2017 that the country's entire rail network would be electrified by 2022. Though not a nascent concept, the electrification in India now has been committed with a fresh investment of 35,000 crore rupees $4.9 billion to electrify the entire network and eliminating the cost of fuel under transportation which will amount to a massive savings of 10,500 crore rupees $1.5 billion overall. This will be a boon for savings for the government to channelize the investments in modernization of the railway infrastructure. Close to 30 billion units of electricity will be required for railway electrification on an annual basis by 2022, leading to excellent opportunities for IPPs of conventional power. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Signaling and Telecommunication. IR uses a range of signaling technologies and methods to manage its train operations based on traffic density and safety requirements. As of March 2017, around 2,850 kilometers (1,770 miles) of the route uses automatic block signaling for train operations, concentrated in high-density routes, large cities, and junctions. Remaining routes are based on absolute block signaling with trains manually controlled by signal men from the signal boxes typically located at stations. Few low-density routes still use manual block signaling methods with communication on track clearance based on physical exchange of tokens. In a few sections, intermediate block signaling is provided to further enhance line capacity with minimal investment. As of March 2017, 501 block sections have intermediate block signals on IR. IR primarily uses colored signal lights, which replaced semaphores and disc-based signaling dependent on position or color. IR uses two aspect, three aspect and four or multiple aspect color signaling across its network. Signals at most stations are interlocked using panel interlocking, route relay interlocking or electronic interlocking methods that eliminate scope for human signaling errors. IR uses track circuiting, and block proving axle counters for train detection. As of March 2017, 5,584 stations across IR about 90% of stations on broad gauge have interlocked stations and multi-aspect signaling. Around 99% of key routes A, B, C and D have track circuitry or block proving axle counters for automated train detection. Also, IR has about 51,000 root kilometers of optical fiber cable network across India, that is used for train control, voice and data communication. Around 2,500 kilometers 1,600 miles of the route is covered by GSMR-based mobile train radio communication. In December 2017, IR announced that it will implement ETCS Level 2 system for signaling and control on key routes with an investment of 12,000 crore rupees $1.7 billion. Currently IR uses Centralized Traffic Control CTC on the busy Ghaziabad, Kanpur route and real-time train monitoring systems on Mumbai and Kolkata suburban routes. <laughs> Links with adjacent countries Rail links between India and neighbouring countries are not well developed. Two trains operate to Pakistan, the Samjauta Express between Delhi and Lahore, and the Thar Express between Jodhpur and Karachi. Bangladesh is connected by the four times a week Maitri Express that runs from Kolkata to Dhaka and weekly Bundan Express which began running commercial trips between Kolkata and Kulna in November 2017. 
Two rail links to Nepal exist, passenger service between Jainagar and Bijalpura and freight services between Raksaul and Burganj. Indian and Bangladeshi governments has started work on a new rail link to ease surface transport. India will build a 13 kilometers 8.1 miles railway linking Tripura's capital Agartala with Bangladesh's southeastern city of Akora, an important railway junction connected to Chittagong port, resource-rich Silhet and Dhaka. An agreement to implement the railway project was signed between India's former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and Bangladesh Premier Sheikh Hasina during her visit to India in January 2010. Total cost of the proposed project is estimated at 252 crore rupees $35 million. The Indian Railway Construction Company IRCON is constructing the new railway tracks on both sides of the border. Of the 13 kilometers 8.1 miles rail line 5 kilometers 3.1 miles of tracks fall in Indian territory. The Northeast Frontier Railways NFR is laying the connecting tracks for the new rail link on the Indian side, up to Tripura's southernmost border town, Sabroom 135 km 84 miles south of Agartala. From Sabroom, the Chittagong International Sea Port is 72 km 45 miles away. No rail link exists with Myanmar but a railway line is to be built from Jirabam in Manipur to Tamu through Imphal and Mora. The construction of this missing link, as per the feasibility study conducted by the Ministry of External Affairs through Rights Limited, is estimated to cost 29.41 billion rupees $410 million. An 18 km 11 miles railway link with Bhutan is being constructed from Hashimara in West Bengal to Torabari in Bhutan. No rail link exists with either China or Sri Lanka. Services Topic Passenger Service Topic Station Categories From December 2017, stations are categorized into the non-suburban group NSG1 to NSG6, the suburban group SG1 to SG3, and the halt group HG1 to HG3 based on the earnings, passenger footfall and strategic importance. Before December 2017, stations were classified into A1, A, B, C, D, E and F categories, based only on the passenger earnings from the sales of platform tickets, thus limiting the ability of IR to better focus its investments in passenger amenities. Topic: Travel classes. IR has several classes of travel, with or without air conditioning. A train may have one or several classes. Slow passenger trains have only unreserved seating, and the Rajdhani Express, Shatabdi Express, Garab Rath Express, Double Decker Express, Tejas Express, Humsafar Express, Duranta Express and Yuva Express have only air-conditioned classes. Fares for all classes differ, and unreserved seating is the least expensive. Fares for the Rajdhani, Duranta and Shatabdi trains include food. In September 2016, IR introduced dynamic fares for the Rajdhani, Duranta and Shatabdi trains except 1 AC and EC classes to increase revenue. Long distance trains usually include a pantry car and food is served at the berth or seat itself. Luxury trains such as Palace on Wheels have separate dining cars, but these trains cost as much as or more than a 5 star hotel room. A standard passenger rake has four unreserved general compartments, two at the front and two at the rear, one of which may be for women. The number of other coaches varies by demand and route. A luggage compartment may be at the front or the rear. On some mail trains, a separate mail coach is attached. Lavatories are communal, and Indian and Western style. The classes in operation are, although a train may not have all these classes, at the rear of the train is the guard's cabin. It contains a transceiver, and is where the guard usually gives the all-clear signal before the train departs. <laughs> train types Trains are sorted into categories which dictate the number of stops on a route, their priority on the network and their fare structure. Each express train is identified by a five-digit number, if the first digit is one or two in the train number, they are long-distance express trains. 
If the first digit is zero, the train is a special train which will operate for a limited period of time with a different fare structure. A first digit of five denotes a passenger train. The second digit indicates the zone operating the train. However, for high-speed trains, the second digit is either zero or two, the first remains one or two. The third digit denotes the division within the zone which is responsible for maintenance and cleanliness, and the last two digits are the train's serial number. The train numbering system was changed from four digits from December 2010, to accommodate an increasing number of trains. Trains traveling in opposite directions along the same route are usually labeled with consecutive numbers. However, there is considerable variation in train numbers. Some zones, such as Central Railway, have a less systematic method of numbering trains. Trains are classified by average speed. A faster train has fewer stops halts than a slower one, and is usually used for long-distance travel. Most express trains have special names to identify them easily. The names of the trains usually denote the regions they connect, the routes they traverse, or a famous person or tourist spot connected with the train. Topic. Tourism Indian Railway operates tourist train or coach services on popular tourist circuits in different regions of the country. The service offers tour packages inclusive of rail travel, local transportation, accommodation, food and guided tours. IR offers various tourist services in this segment including luxury tourist trains, semi-luxury trains, Buddhist special trains, Bharat Darshan trains, Astha circuit trains and steam trains. The Palace on Wheels is a luxury train service, frequently hauled by a steam locomotive, to promote tourism in Rajasthan. The train has a seven-night, eight-day itinerary on a round trip from New Delhi via Jaipur, Sawai Madhapur and Chittorgarh, Udaipur, Jaisalmer, Jodhpur, Bharatpur and Agra. Royal Rajasthan on Wheels covers a number of tourist destinations in Rajasthan. The seven-day, eight-night tour is a round trip from New Delhi's Safdarjing Station via Jodhpur, Udaipur and Chittorgarh, Ranthambore National Park in Jaipur, Kajuraho, Varanasi and Sarnath, and Agra, Maharaja's Express, a luxury train operated by the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation IRCTC, runs on five routes to about 12 destinations across northwest and central India centered around Rajasthan from October to April. The Deccan Odyssey covers tourist destinations in Maharashtra and Goa. Its seven-night, eight-day tour begins in Mumbai and stops at Jaigad Fort, Gunapadipule and Ritnagira, Sindhidurg, Tarkarli and Sawantwadi, Goa, Kolhapur and Pune Day 5, Aurangabad and Ellora Caves, and Ajanta Caves and Nashik. The Golden Chariot runs on two tours, Pride of the South and Splendor of the South. The Mahaparinirvan Express, an air-conditioned service also known as the Buddhist Circuit Train, is run by the IRCTC for Buddhist pilgrims. Its seven-night, eight-day tour begins in New Delhi and visits Bodh Gaya, Rajagar and Nalanda, Varanasi and Sarnath, Kushinagar and Lumbini, Sravasti and the Taj Mahal. Topic. Ticketing. Until the late 1980s, Indian Railways ticket reservations were made manually. In late 1987, IR began using a computerized ticketing system. The system went online in 1995 to provide current information on status and availability. The ticketing network at stations is computerized with the exception of remote areas. As of March 2017, close to 6,000 stations are networked with reserved or unreserved ticketing systems across India. IR now provides multiple channels for passengers to book tickets between any two train stations in the country. Reserved tickets may be booked, up to 120 days in advance, on the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation website, smartphone apps, SMS, rail reservation counters at train stations or through private ticket booking counters. A TACAL train ticket can be booked by passengers who want to travel at short notice with a reserved seat or berth, but such tickets are sold at higher fares than regular advance reservation tickets. Confirmed reservation tickets will show the passenger and fare details along with berth or seat numbers allocated to them on the ticket. If reservation is not available on a particular train, the ticket has a wait list number. A person with a wait listed ticket must wait for enough cancellations to obtain a confirmed ticket. If their ticket is not confirmed on the day of departure, they cannot board the train. 
Reservation against cancellation tickets, between the waiting and confirmed lists, allow a ticket holder to board the train and obtain a seat chosen by a ticket collector after the collector has found a vacant seat. Unreserved tickets, for short distance or unplanned travels, may be purchased at stations at any time before departure, and such ticket holders may only board the general compartments. Suburban networks issue unreserved tickets valid for a limited time or season passes with unlimited travel between two stops for a period of time. Commuters can purchase tickets and season passes at stations or through UTS mobile apps. A valid proof for purchase of ticket along with a photo identification is required to board the train. India has some of the lowest train fares in the world, and passenger traffic is subsidized by higher class fares. Discounted tickets are available for senior citizens over age 60, the differently abled, students, athletes and those taking competitive examinations. One compartment of the lowest class of accommodation is earmarked for women on every passenger train. Some berths or seats are also reserved for women or senior citizens. Freight services In the freight segment, IR ferries various commodities and fuels in industrial, consumer and agricultural segments across the length and breadth of India. IR has historically subsidized the passenger segment with income from the freight business. As a result, freight services are unable to compete with other modes of transport on both cost and speed of delivery, leading to continuous erosion of market share. To counter this downward trend, IR has started new initiatives in freight segments including upgrading of existing goods sheds, attracting private capital to build multi-commodity multi-modal logistics terminals, changing container sizes, operating time-tabled freight trains and tweaking with the freight pricing – product mix. Also, end-to-end -end integrated transport solutions such as roll-on, roll-off service, a road rail system pioneered by Konkan Railway Corporation in 1999 to carry trucks on flatbed trailers, is now being extended to other routes across India. Perhaps the game-changer for IR in the freight segment, are the new dedicated freight corridors that are expected to be completed by 2020. When fully implemented, the new corridors, spanning around 3,300 km, could support hauling of trains up to 1.5 km in length with 32.5 ton axle load at speeds of 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour. Also, they will free up capacity on dense passenger routes and will allow IR to run more trains at higher speeds. Additional corridors are being planned to augment the freight infrastructure in the country. UNESCO World Heritage Sites IR has two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus, Mumbai and the Mountain Railways of India. The latter are three rail lines in different parts of India, the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, a 610 mm narrow gauge railway in the Lesser Himalayas of West Bengal, the Nilgiri Mountain Railway, a 1000 mm meter gauge rack railway in the Nilgiri Hills of Tamil Nadu and the Kalka Shimla Railway, a 762 mm narrow gauge railway in the Sawalik Hills of Himachal Pradesh. Issues IR carries an annual debt of over 200 billion rupees $2 billion. The passenger division lost 300 billion rupees $4 billion in FY 2013-2014, leading to a 23 paise .32 US loss per passenger km and a cash surplus of 6.9 billion rupees $96 million. Its operating ratio was 109% from April to December 2016. Its accounting systems are allegedly outdated. Between 2004 and 2014, 99 new rail projects were announced in the annual rail budgets without additional funding. One project has been completed, the remaining 98 will require 5 trillion rupees 70 billion dollars, including four projects which were 30 years old in 2014. IR is losing passenger and freight market share to other modes of transport, according to the report of High Level Safety Review Committee of 2012. From 2007 08 to October 2011, casualties in train accidents accounted for 1,019 deaths and 2,118 injuries. 
In the same period 1,600 railway staff were killed and 8,700 injured. The committee estimated that almost 15,000 persons get killed each year by what is called unlawful trespassing. A Daily Telegraph article stated that Indian railway officials believe that a large proportion of bodies found dead on railways died elsewhere and were put on the railway in dishonest attempts to get compensation from the railway authorities and companies. IR carries out various activities that are essentially uneconomic in nature, where it is either not able to recover the costs capital investments, operating costs it incurs to deliver such services, or ends up foregoing revenues. Such activities, termed by IR as social service obligations, include concessional tariffs for a few passenger segments or essential commodities and services in uneconomical train routes. While the assessment of actual losses to meet social service obligations requires a scientific study, the estimation of such losses from IR for the fiscal year 2016-17 is 296.3 billion rupees, 4.1 billion dollars. Topic: Future IR's Research Design and Standards Organization RDSO undertakes research, design and standardization. The railway has undertaken several initiatives to upgrade its aging infrastructure and improve its quality of service. The Indian government plans to invest 9.05 trillion rupees, 130 billion dollars to upgrade IR by 2020. Topic: Infrastructure Infrastructure modernization projects include high-speed rail, with the first Ahmedabad-Mumbai train in operation in 2022, redevelopment of 400 stations by monetizing 2,700 acres 11 square kilometers of spare railway land under a 1,070,000 crore rupees $149 billion plan, doubling tracks to reduce congestion and delays while improving safety 15,000 kilometers of double track existed in 2016, and funding for 12,500 500 kilometers more was approved that year. The refurbishing of 12 to 15 year old coaches at the carriage rehabilitation workshop in Bhopal to enhance passenger amenities and fire safety. Global positioning system GPS enabled tracking of trains to improve safety and service. Digital India driven 3,500,000 million rupees, 49 billion dollars digitalization of the railway to improve efficiency and reduce cost. Rainwater harvesting with 1885 systems installed by December 2016, and reforestation of railway land and along the tracks. Electrification and power All routes will be electrified to save on imported fuel costs. 49% of the network was electrified by March 2018, with full electrification planned by March 2021. Off-the-grid solar-powered trains are planned with the installation of 1 gigawatt of solar and 130 megawatts of wind power between 2017 and 2022. India introduced the world's first solar-powered train and 50 coaches with rooftop solar farms in June 2017. Initial assessments of this experiment has been positive. Rooftop solar electricity is planned at stations to reduce long-term fuel costs and protect the environment, and sustainable LED lighting at all stations is planned by March 2018 to cut electricity costs. Locomotive factories have been modernized, including two new factories in Bihar, an electric locomotive factory in Madhepura and a diesel locomotive factory in Marhaura, and 2,285 bio-toilets were introduced from April to July 2014. A 200 billion rupees $2.8 billion partnership with Alstom to supply 800 electric locomotives from 2018 to 2028 was announced. Topic. Safety Safety projects include the elimination of an average of 1,217 unguarded level crossings per year by building an average of 1,066 overpasses and underpasses per year. An automated fire alarm system on Rajdhani Express trains was begun in 2013, extending to the air conditioned coaches of all trains, and 6,095 GPS enabled fog pilot assistance system railway signaling devices, replacing the practice of placing firecrackers on tracks to alert train drivers installed in 2017 in four zones, Northern, North Central, North Eastern and North Western. Topic. 
Topic: Records. Vivek Express has the longest route in India, which covers 4286 kilometers in about 82 hours and 30 minutes. The train runs between Dibrugarh and Kanyakumari. In its route, Howrah Amritsar Express has 115 stops. The train has the record for maximum stops by an express mail train. Indian Railways constructed a subway crossing in just four and a half hour between Penderthi and Kotavalasa line in Andhra Pradesh. Topic. See also. List of railway stations in India. Indian Railways Fan Club. Equals equals notes. <laughs>